in this guild doing what it should. And, and, right. And because, you know, D20 rules, as long as your units have plus one weapons, uh, you don't care about mundane damage resistance. Which, I, okay, to be fair, we took damage resistance, re resistance and kind of... Uh, we took the D20 idea and the sort of Master of Magic idea and, and, and wove them together into our own damage resistance formula that, that gotcha. we feel really fits the game. And, and you know, once... Uh, well, you know, a couple of bills down the road, people are gonna, you know, realize how to how to prep up and be ready to deal with with werewolves. And we're not gonna have the the waves of AI werewolves are are, are gonna be a thing of the past because that oh. um, mainly because I don't like it actually. I mean, yeah. it, well, you know, <laughs> fair. Ba ba bands of wandering werewolves. I'm j I'm not feeling it. it. It's okay. It gives it gives the the guys that are in early access right now it gives them a challenge. It gives them something to struggle against while we're prepping up the sorcerer lord AIs. So it's yeah. fine for now. But it, it doesn't fit our fantasy world to have, you know, an army of werewolves get together and go, hey, let's go sack this town. That's that's not what they do. <laughs> yeah, so, you know true. what I'm saying? I mean, um, it, you know, it's... Now, I, 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 do some, I, I do see some people commenting that they, they love the idea of the difficulty of it. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, because this group loves difficulty, which is yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, uh, Ethan, I, I think I'm going to take this one. Sorry, guys, it'll minimize for a moment. Um, are there ways to... Like, uh, talking about, um, taking a town, are there ways to do it in a bad way, like kill half the population or whatever? Uh, let me, there's one very interesting way, and there okay. again, I'm refer to the wiki, I've got to, I've got, there are 400 spells, and look guys, I would love to be able to say that, uh, I remember the name of every single spell and what it does <laughs> that wouldn't be true yeah <laughs> that, that's just it's not uh okay this one uh is is correct because this is one of the interesting ways in, in the main you know you go take a city by taking it you go defeat the guards and you take it but if you go with mentalism yeah uh you can get dominate city and you literally you just cast a spell on the city if it if it doesn't make the appropriate savings throw, uh, you uh, uh, th that city uh, transfers to you. Uh, you lost a fame for the battle. I'm, I, I'm, I'm experiencing the lag. And yeah, so, uh, I'm a and that, little sad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you shouldn't have. That's that's a bug. I, I ran into that today. Actually, that's that's probably going to be part of uh, part of our meeting tomorrow. Yeah. It, and, and I don't. You can look at the mirror um, and see if you actually lost the fame. I think it's just a. a I think the message is wrong. I don't think it's actually. I don't think it actually registered. Oh. So, so I had a low difficulty fight that I decided to auto resolve. It ended with all three of my units dead and them whistling Dixie. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Awkward. The, uh, <laughs> the threat uh, assessor is um, a little skewed. Not maybe? entirely accurate. And oh, this was I... this was actually brought up in the Monday meeting. I actually um, gained a fame for that fight. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was just the message was wrong. Sure. Um, it was in my list of, of things to double check today, and and I didn't get around to it. Is the cool, very the cool. The long it. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, and that'll be you know hopefully that'll be fixed. Um, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on how quick I can I can get that turned in, or if anybody else. Is, I mean, it's it's not just me out here testing things. We got plenty of people that that bug report may have already been submitted by somebody else. So. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, but I, I, I go through and I do a lot of a lot of the testing that I do. Obviously, I record bugs if I if I run into them. Right. But a lot of it is about the feel of the game. Does it uh -huh. feel like it should when I'm playing the on how load? Does you know does this particular sorcerer lord build does it have enough power to make it viable? Because with all these options, if we don't have a very wide range of viable options. Then there aren't any options. Right. It's just sure. it's just we, we're pretending that there are options. Yeah. And you go so so we've got I've got to get in there and that's that's really what I test and I watch I watch what the AI does and um, I do things like uh, save the game, auto resolve a battle, load <laughs> the game, go in and play it out myself without magic because auto resolve doesn't doesn't use your spells. Right. And you yeah. don't want to automatically using up your mana and and see if the if the auto resolve is as good as I am. 
Um, <laughs> and, and really, I, I'm, I'm probably an average player. You go, dude, you're the designer. Yes, I am. But uh, <laughs> I, I'll guarantee you, let this game be out for six months, and there will be plenty of guys that will be able to stomp me if we played head-to-head -head just because uh, there's, a, there's a difference between designing the game and then actually getting in and, and having the, the mind for the level of micromanagement that some oh, of these people absolutely. have. Going, absolutely. going back to our early conversation, like I said, you know, uh, guys taking an hour on a turn, you go, dude, you'll beat me just patient. I'm going <laughs> to click end turn just because I've had enough of this turn. I want something to happen. So yeah, Unpronounceableville, I, uh, uh, that was great. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that's what you made the name of the town. <laughs> So yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually saving up a little bit of money. I'm I'm kind of hoping that I'll run into a hero eventually, which is yes, a system yes. um, that you know I, I'm sure a lot of these guys actually did not play Master of Magic. They're looking at this game on its own yep. merits. Can you explain the hero system and the magic item system and uh, sure. tell us a little bit about how they interact? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, first of all, heroes are the uh, one of the best types of unit in the game. Uh, it's just some people would argue the best. Um, I oh, would agree with that, it, 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 except for Titans, which I'll get into Titans later probably. Uh -huh. But heroes are, um, first of all, they can gain more levels. Your standard units can gain five levels. They go through five different increments. Uh, if you've got a discipline, if, if you've got the Warlord discipline, they can actually gain more than that. But it, as a general rule, there's a cap. They get five levels. Heroes okay. can get ten from wherever sure. they start. Um, so just right there, they can become more powerful than a normal unit given the experience. The other thing is, of course, that they can use magical equipment. They can use artifacts. And yeah. there's a very wide range of artifacts that they can use. So what you can do is you can invest mana in creating these super powerful artifacts or just a, a number of uh, smaller artifacts, load your heroes up with them, and completely change their their power for instance I mean you could you know you take a, a, a standard hero and you know that you're going to be uh, you're going to be exploring the the plane of fire uh, and you make a sword spear whatever that uh, does additional cold damage you know a freezing wet you make freezing weapon and you give yeah. it to them and so every time they've got 1d6 bonus damage from the cold uh -huh. that may have you know the, the creatures you're attacking may have a 40 percent vulnerability so that's going to kick that damage up, and you know the the vulnerability stacks. So you actually make the roll, then you apply the bonus, right. and so it's uh, and you know that that's a relatively low power item, and you can of course make just crazy epic artifacts if you can invest uh, enough enough mana <laughs> sure. in their yeah. in their production, and so really heroes they they start out okay. Um, to be honest with you, it's a little tricky when when you first get a hero, depending on which hero it is. They may not be as powerful as, as some of these starting units, um, yeah. really. But what you want to do is it's about equipping them and leveling them up, keeping right. them alive until they're viable. And, and some people really, they, that annoys them that you start with a weak hero. Personally, I like the challenge. I like the, you know, to dive in there and you go, this guy is, you know, he, he's not much now, but uh, as I build him up, as I level him up, as I equip him, uh, he's going to become very, very powerful. You know, they you can you can take equipment back from them, so you can you can build gear that is designed to keep your heroes alive when you first get them. You get a hero in, you put them in equipment that is going to keep them alive. Then you get them out there, you get them experience, you get them some levels, and and you know they start getting more powerful. Like I said, I, I only would qualify that you know. I won't say they're the most powerful unit in the game because we, literally the Titans are these super powerful, unbelievably strong units yeah, sure. that you can only get in your army. There, there's a thing called the Altar of the Titans, uh -huh. uh, which which you may not get. Uh, there may be one in a very rare game. You might end up with two altar of the Titan, altars of the Titan. Okay. Uh, you go in and you beat a Titan. You defeat a Titan with your army, which is no mean feat. But once you've defeated that Titan, you can summon another Titan. To serve you, uh, yeah. and the exact mechanics for that aren't in place. But those are, if if somebody manages to to defeat an altar of the titans and summon the titan, uh -huh. um, the game just got a lot harder for everybody else. So Very it's not interesting. That you, not that you can't recover, but that's that's a major milestone. I mean, it's like when people start casting tier nine spells, the game's close to over, man. Okay, I mean, it, it's it's going to take, you know you're going to have to be countering tier 9 spells with with tier 9 spells and that's that's another interesting thing about the magic system when you get up to tier 9 all the 
first eight tiers of spells are dual circle. They're life destruction, water, gotcha. mentalism. When you get to that ninth circle, they're single circle. A nice. tier nine fire spell is only fire. Tier nine water, only water. Okay, when yeah. people get to those tier nine spells, it's crazy. It's it's about to get crazy. And um, so, and, and of course, we also have the spell of the domination, which uh -huh. is that's it. If you can, if you successfully cast it, you win. And okay. that there again is a, is a throwback to, to master magic. And so, um, anyway, the, the thing is that the 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 conflict es escalates as the game goes along, um, and the longer the game plays, sort of the more epic things sure. become. Yeah. And, until you know, just it, it you know somebody wins it. So yeah. So uh, we had a couple of other questions. Um, can sure. you have an effect? Um, I, I I know that you can't right now. Are there plans to have the player uh, have an effect on auto, like auto resolve offensively, auto resolve defensively, um, or like is there any way to affect the strategy that your units use? Not at the moment. There is okay. not, and I, 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 there are no firm plans to do that at this point. Okay. Um, cool. There, there are some things we're going to do with auto resolve. One of the things I would like to see, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit this in. This is a personal desire of mine. Got it. Um, and I, I don't know if it's going to work out or not. But I would like you to be able to open the tactical battle board, uh -huh. and then turn turn it on auto, just like you could in Master of Magic. Oh um, yeah. Where. Yeah. You know where where you can you can go to the tactical battle board, uh, and you can cast your opening spell or whatever you want to do to kind of set the stage. Then you can just turn it on auto, and everything moves real fast. But you can actually see it play out, and that way, if you decide, whoa, my guys are doing something stupid, you can you can pause it and take take control again. Right. Um, and I think in the long run that is going to happen. Uh, just I really I don't expect that uh, gotcha. in our industry at least. So. So I, uh, I have unfortunately lost my capital city, so I'm booting up Worlds of Magic. But, uh, you know, this is a perfect time to actually go ahead and handle our giveaway. If, uh, sure. If, if sure. you want to do that real quick. Um, I'll, I'll do it, uh, but if you're okay with that handling now. Yes. I, okay, cool. I, yes. Um, so, and then that way you're free to <laughs> take off whenever you need to. Sure, uh, sure. Of sure. course. But, uh, but yeah, so let me pull up the stuff for that real quick. Uh, everybody go ahead and take like a two or three minute break, uh, and we'll be doing yeah. that. Um, uh, if you need a bathroom break or if any of the viewers need a bathroom break, now is a good time to do that. Yes, I will take the opportunity. I'll be right. right back. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. Uh, but, yeah, so... Um, no, actually, you do not. Uh, you did not have to sign up for the game. What I did not tell you guys is I use Monbot, which means every three minutes that you spend in the game is uh, you get a lion, and lions are kind of the currency of the game. Like, uh, don't worry, you're not. You haven't missed out on the giveaway. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> so basically, every minute that you, or every three minutes that you spend in the game, you get a lion. Like right now, I have 427, um, and you spend those on a raffle to earn the Steam Keys. So we're about to do that, um, and I'm actually just looking up the command list uh, to run the raffle. So you didn't have to sign up, uh, you still have an opportunity, you have not missed out. So, okay. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and start that in raffle. All right, cool. So, raffle open. And, uh, guys, what you want to do is you will be looking at, uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? When a raffle is open, you guys will type in exclamation point ticket, space, followed by the number of tickets you wish to purchase. Now, if you guys hang out and come to my stream a little more often, um, I do giveaways all the time. So uh, you don't have to spend all your lions right now. Um... <laughs> yes, everybody has a chance. Don't worry about it. Iron Lion Bot has got you guys covered. So I'm going to go ahead and we're only going to do one raffle for all three and I'll have it pick three winners, okay? And let me just verify that that's how many Steam Keys I have real quick uh, before I, you know, pull more winners than I have keys. Uh, so, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out and a quick thank you to Wasteland Interactive 
Um, they they got me my game, and they got me all the giveaway keys that I'm about to give away. So uh, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, and let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, so I've got three Steam keys. So, uh, I am raffling off the game. So you can plug this code into Steam, and you will unlock the game. Now remember, guys, you want a 64-bit system, or if you don't mind waiting a little bit, you can also get it that way. Um, Alright, 